So unless you're an exhibitionist and you want your image to be broadcast out all over creation without your permission, you better be aware of hidden cameras. Recently, a Royal Caribbean passenger found a hidden camera in her bathroom and she called security. They came in, they did an investigation and they wound up uh, arresting one of the employees that was involved. I know, crazy, right? Wow. But you can take steps to better protect your privacy when on travel or heck, just anywhere. Technology has come a long way since the introduction of the nanny cam. The size has shrunk, the clarity is better, the resolution is much more, more advanced than what it used to be uh, to an amazing level. But with all that said, there are things you can do to help minimize this exposure. Hidden cameras come in a lot of form factors, and I mean a lot. You can see them up here. Uh, wow, just crazy. Things you would never expect. Innocent items in everyday life. But with all that, they can really be broken down into two categories. One is those that have an emitter and they transmit a signal to get the video out or those that record on, on some sort of media like a micro SD chip, something like that. The transmitter type of cameras are actually probably better in that they broadcast out a clue to where their location is and there's ways you can capitalize on that. There are a lot of tools available to help you find these hidden cameras and I bet one of them you have on you right now and that's your cell phone. You don't go anywhere without it and you can use it in many different ways to try to find these little guys. Uh, first and foremost is use your wireless discovery function. A lot of these cameras that use Wi-Fi to broadcast the video signal they will show up on your phone. So just turn on your discovery for Wi-Fi and look for any networks that don't really make sense. Some of them may even have bad names. And granted, they can change the names, but for the most part, pervs don't have a, a minimum entry level, so they may not have thought about changing them. Hmm? All of these hidden cameras have one thing in common, and that is they have lenses. And these lenses can be small, like tiny, tiny little dots on like a button of a shirt or on an ink pen or in a pair of glasses. There's, there's a lot of different, different things. Well, you can use the fact that this has a lens to help you discover these guys. Using your cell phone flashlight held close to your face can give away a camera by the bounce back reflection of the light. It's important to hold the light source close to your eyes though, as the reflection is a very narrow angle. There's also some commercial products that help in locating camera lenses, such as like the ones I'm showing here. You can also use your phone's camera screen as you look around and see if you see any of these pinpoints of light shining back at you. Also, some cameras have an infrared emitter to help them see in the dark, and you can pick up that a lot of times on your cell phone screen. And there are apps available, both Android and iPhone, that will help you try to discover these little hidden nasties there. I'll put a list of some of the ones down in the, in the comments below, or you can actually see them scroll by right here. Hidden Spy Camera Detector, Glint Finder, uh, Hidden Camera Detector Pro. There's a lot of options out there, and while I can't personally talk about how good they are because I've never used them, you know, every little bit of help helps, right? And there are a number of commercially available detectors to help you pick up this Wi-Fi signal, you know, so, so your cell phone may give you an indicator, maybe not. These actually will pick up something that's providing a signal and you can get close to it and it sounds a little alarm. Uh, my understanding is that you have to be very close range and they give a lot of false positives. So, you know, your mileage may vary. But with that said, any little hint is, is probably a good thing to continue your search, right? All these detectors are extremely portable and something you might just want to throw in your suitcase before you travel. And the most important thing is knowledge because you always have that with you. So now, now that you've seen some of these things, you can be a little bit more aware. So if you see a coat hook in the corner that's got a strange little hole in it that you wouldn't think would be there, uh, you might want to take a closer look. Or likewise, if your electrical receptacle has an extra dot on it or, or anything like that, just something that, that triggers wrong in your mind and uh, might prompt a little closer look. Uh, at least that way you know to check it out. The case of finding a hidden camera in your stateroom is horrible and can very well ruin your entire vacation. The fact that we have to take these steps is, is awful. It's awful, but unfortunately it's the world we live in today. So be aware of your surroundings. Look for things that don't look quite right to you. You know, scrutinize a little better than what you might normally, normally do. So hopefully you will never encounter one of these little guys, but maybe, just maybe, 
Some of the things we talked about today can help you spot them early and help protect your privacy a little better. If nothing else, it'll give you peace of mind and nothing wrong with that. Well, until next time, happy cruising and protect your privacy.